Hi, and welcome to another VS tutorial. Today, we'll talk about blend modes, what they are, how they work, and how you can use them to enhance your compositions. As always, I'm Yunus Avatar, here to guide you through the tutorial while Yunus busy. Let's get started. Every image you see on screen is made up of tiny colored dots called pixels, each one with its own color value. When you layer two images, blend modes determine how the pixels of one image combine with those of another to create new colors. This is a powerful way to adjust brightness, contrast, or even completely transform the look of your VS compositions. Let's see it in action. First, let's load two materials so we can explore blend modes in practice. Double click the first layer thumbnail and under the shaders category, load the square material from the factory bank. Then open the material browser of the second layer, select image video from the media provider, open the pictures folder under factory and load the perplex online 17 image. To apply a blend mode, Open the Color Properties panel of the layer and locate the Blend Mode parameter. Click it to open the list of available modes. You can either select one directly or use your mouse scroll wheel to cycle through them. We can group the available blend modes into four main categories, Light and Dark and Contrast and Subtract modes. Each category affects colors differently. Lighten modes make your composition brighter by emphasizing lighter areas and ignoring darker ones. Darken modes do the opposite. They darken the composition by emphasizing darker tones. Contrast modes combine both light and dark areas to increase contrast and saturation. Finally, difference modes subtract one image's colors from another to create unique visual effects. By default, the blend mode is set to normal, meaning the top material doesn't mix with those below it. In VS, materials are layered from left to right, so the leftmost material appears on top of the one to its right. Here, you can see the square covering part of the image beneath it. The rest remains visible because the square material has transparent areas that reveal what's below. When you apply a blend mode to a material, you're telling VS to mix its colors with the materials underneath it, that is the layers to the right. Let's try mixing the square with the image by applying different blend modes to the square material. For lighten modes, we have soft add, screen, lighten, and add. For darken modes, we have darken, and multiply. The contrast category includes overlay. And under difference modes, we have subtract soft, reverse subtract, subtract, and exclusion. Now, if we reset the blend mode to normal and change the layer order, you'll notice the image covering the square. This time, since the image doesn't have any transparent areas, it will totally cover the material on its right. When we then apply a blend mode, we'll get different results as before, since the mixing order depends on which material is on top. As you can see, blend modes let you combine your layers in creative ways, from subtle overlays to dramatic effects. They're a powerful tool to unify your compositions or to create striking visual contrasts. Now, let's build a quick example where one material acts as a mask for another using blend modes. Start by opening the material browser of the first layer and selecting the ferrofluid material from the factory bank under the shaders section. Change its color to a bluish tone. Then on the second layer, load the blobs material from the same category and change its color to purple. Right now, since the ferrofluid layer uses the normal blend mode, it completely covers the blobs beneath it. Let's change its blend mode to multiply. 
Now the ferrofluid material is masking the blob's shader and you'll see the color interaction between them. If you prefer to keep the original purple color, simply change the ferrofluid color to white. You can then modify the mask effect by adjusting the ferrofluid's parameters. To add more layering, open the material browser of layer 3, choose image video, then under factory pictures, load perplex on line 17 again. Now select layer 2 and experiment with different blend modes to see how each one changes the overall composition. Now you know how to use blend modes to enhance your VS compositions. They allow you to merge materials in creative and dynamic ways, forming rich, cohesive visuals. I hope this tutorial inspires you to experiment and craft your own beautiful effect. As always, I'm Nuno's avatar, helping out while Nuno keeps coding. See you in the next tutorial.